Imagine a future where artificial intelligence is so advanced. It doesn't just process information. It predicts the future, builds entire digital ecosystems, and fundamentally rewires human existence. Sound sci-fi? Not anymore. OpenAI has just announced the Stargate project, a jaw-dropping $500 billion investment that could redefine technology, geopolitics, and the very fabric of intelligence itself. So what exactly is OpenAI building? And why are governments, defense agencies, and tech giants all paying very, very close attention? At its core, the Stargate project is an AI supercluster, a next-generation, ultra-powerful computing infrastructure designed to push artificial intelligence beyond its current limits. It's essentially a planetary-scale brain, capable of processing and simulating reality in ways never seen before. According to OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, the initiative aims to build the most powerful AI system on Earth, enabling breakthroughs in medicine, finance, security, and scientific research. Think real-time disease modeling, predictive economic analysis, and even AI-generated counter-cyber warfare tactics. And here's the kicker. It might not just be about civilian tech. OpenAI's announcement also hinted at an AI ecosystem that could integrate seamlessly across multiple industries, suggesting that Stargate could become the central nervous system of an interconnected AI-driven world. Imagine an AI that not only advises governments on economic policies, but also controls traffic systems, optimizes global energy grids, and even designs future generations of AI. If you thought OpenAI was just building a bigger chat GPT, just think again. The U.S. Department of Defense is reportedly eyeing Stargate as a potential asset for national security. In a recent statement, a senior Pentagon official hinted that the AI supercluster could assist in military AI efforts. Everything from predictive war simulations to cyber defense automation. The implications are staggering. Just consider this. AI-powered predictive modeling could forecast military conflicts before they happen, giving nations an upper hand in diplomacy and strategy. Then there's autonomous defense systems, AI that can instantly detect cyber threats and neutralize them before they escalate. Some experts warn that such capabilities could blur the lines between defensive AI and autonomous warfare, potentially making AI-driven military conflicts a reality sooner than we think. That's crazy! And let's not forget, AI in warfare isn't just theoretical. The Pentagon has already launched AI-driven battlefield operations, including the MAVEN project and autonomous drone swarms. So could Stargate be the backbone of the next generation AI military? Well, more importantly, should it be? Who's paying for this behemoth? A $500 billion investment isn't pocket change, even for OpenAI. The funding comes from a mix of venture capital, tech partnerships, and possibly government contracts. Microsoft, which has already poured $10 billion into OpenAI, is expected to contribute significantly alongside sovereign wealth funds and defense industry giants. This massive financial backing suggests that Stargate is not just another research project. It's a commercial and geopolitical powerhouse. The question is, who gets control of it? Could there be a scenario where AI like Stargate is monopolized by a single government or corporation? Elon Musk, despite his turbulent relationship with OpenAI, has called the project a necessary step toward AGI supremacy. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has made headlines by questioning whether such power should be controlled by a private entity at all. Did you know? The name Stargate isn't random. In the 1970s, the U.S. government ran a secret psychic espionage program called Project Stargate, aimed at using remote viewing for intelligence gathering. While OpenAI's Stargate is strictly AI-based, some conspiracy theorists are already drawing eerie parallels. Let's talk about China now. It's no secret that China has been rapidly advancing its AI capabilities. Beijing's AI development plan aims to surpass the U.S. in AI dominance by 2030, and with state-backed tech firms like Baidu and Tencent investing billions, the AI race is heating up fast. China's military has also been integrating AI into warfare simulations, much like the U.S. Pentagon. So 
If Stargate gives the US a technological upper hand, could it escalate tensions into a full-blown AI arms race? What do you think, fellas? According to AI researcher Matthew Berman, whoever controls AGI first won't just lead in technology, they'll dictate global power dynamics for decades. But how much power is too much power? You guys must have heard that with great power comes great responsibility, or in this case, great existential risks. AI ethicists are already voicing concerns about bias in AI decision making, misuse by authoritarian regimes, and potentially uncontrollable intelligence. Sam Altman, CEO OpenAI himself, has admitted that AGI regulation will be essential, but critics argue that no amount of regulation can truly contain an AI that's smarter than its creators. So what happens when AI reaches a level where humans can't keep up? Are we building our greatest tool or our last invention? Stargate is not just another AI model. It's a monument to human ambition, a potential geopolitical game changer, and possibly the first step toward AGI dominance. With $500 billion on the line, the stakes have never been higher. So is OpenAI creating the future we've dreamed of or the one we should fear? One thing's for sure, the world is watching.